Mm -hmm. Hello. Um, that's not supposed to be on the screen. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> hello everybody. How are we doing? Uh, tournament second day. Today is going to be hopefully an exciting finals to a long, long project. I started this one month ago, and I was helping out Tomo before that, but. For this one month, I've basically been doing nothing but this tournament. So hopefully, there is some payoff here, and we do get to see some pretty exciting semi-finals and finals. Well, as exciting as gacha gameplay could be, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, games start in 10 minutes, and before we do that, I would like to run through the rules once again. Um, just to remind everybody, since it's like, we've got to fit into time, and uh, not everybody is going to be here for not their first time. So just over the rules. This is a Shiro Kuro tournament. We're playing Grand Assault and everybody is going to basically be playing their own accounts and this is like, yeah. It, it, it'll be it'll be a face-off. It's a tournament, right? <clears throat> everybody plays a so each of the players we have, we have four today. They're gonna to play a 1v1 in a best of three and one of each armor type is going to be played. So there'll be red, yellow and blue. If if someone wins two and zero, there won't be a third game. Uh, everybody is playing on insane, so no torments, no extremes, definitely no hardcores. Uh, everybody's going to play on insane. If someone accidentally does torment, then well, well, that that won't happen. People will very quickly realize that they're accidentally in torment, so none of those accidents will happen. <clears throat> Hopefully. There is a force pick, so every Every game, a random one star or two star unit will be selected from a wheel, and everybody must have this unit on any of their teams. This team can't be like a throwaway. It can't be. We can't just go in and retreat instantly. Uh, that would be obviously against the spirit of why we have this thing. That purpose is to introduce some kind of handicap and make you adapt and think about the limitations of either having a dead weight or. Um, have you work around someone that could potentially be useful, but not as useful as someone you would usually choose, right? And then after the force pick, every both players will ban four units, totaling eight between both of them. And neither player can run any of the eight units in any of their teams. So this is where the restrictions come in and where most of the tournament is is different from regular gameplay since we're used to seeing units like Mika, you know, like Hoshino, like uh, Ako and Himari, but more often than not, they are removed from play. So it will be up to players to know and learn how to work around these kind of limitations. The players get 10 minutes, 10 real life minutes to beat the boss. They can retry as much as they want as long as they finish within those 10 minutes. Uh, from this, we can usually, we usually expect a minimal amount of resets. Like some people do choose to reset a bit if they have, if they think they have a really bad run, but most of the time, uh, a lot of strategies re like revolve around usually these kind of like guaranteed um, kind of uh, strategies. <clears throat> and then finally, uh, the player, who had the better time or the higher score wins that point towards the best of three. And that should be simple. So if someone has, if they're both doing red and one person has a higher score, then that goes, they go one and zero. Um, yeah, so that's just a quick rundown of the rules. The games start in eight minutes. So we do have a little bit of more time. I am going to introduce my guest to everybody. So hello, oops, not the screen. <clears throat> You know, I should make a screen where uh, <laughs> where we're just talking. You know, we can use this. Um, so this is Midokuni. Uh, hello, Midokuni. And hello, Kasu. Yeah, and would you like to introduce yourself to people who might not know you? Uh, so good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so I'm Midokuni. Uh, I'm once again here to uh commentate with Kasu for the tournament. Uh, so yesterday, uh, it was the groups. Uh, it was actually very interesting. Uh, and to add to that, uh, I've added 
uh, tournament uh, raid data on my website, which is hina.lobs.midokoni.com. Uh, you can find it on the homepage, the link to the tournament data yesterday. And I've also included the qualifiers there, so you can check them out as well. Yeah, speaking of that data, did you see anything interesting for the groups? Like, was there any kind of standout? Someone got banned a lot, someone got picked a lot? That kind of thing? Hmm. Honestly, they're all pretty interesting. Since uh, there's really no commonal, well, not really no commonality, but more of each player does have their unique spin to, to how they play. Right. So everybody has like a personal preference, and uh... yes. Okay. Okay. And well... this personal preference should well make the difference in this finals because. It's going to be based on the research the players did. Right, yeah. Since uh, we have revealed to everybody what everyone used in the games. So if players are observant enough, they'll be able to like pick out these preferences and see. Uh, and hopefully come so, up with some counter strategies, right? Yes. Though on the other hand, considering the limited bans we had, they might... So accidentally introduce someone that was already banned in the previous uh, matches that probably forced the player themselves to use those uh, strats. So yes. it's also a balance of the old bands and the current bands. So you need to be able to pick up which bands from before and cur and add on to it too. Hmm. Yes, so hopefully we do see some of that in action. Uh, I mean, they could just do their default strategy, but I'm not sure if that's what's going to be winning the tournament. Uh, just we our game started in five minutes, so in the meantime, I am going to uh, quickly show the players that were playing today since I forgot to do that. Let's see here. We do have. Hopefully this works. But no, not that one. You know what? Let's go here. Okay. Uh, uh, so today, playing today, is going to be Dajin versus Leaf coming up first. So in five minutes, we're going to have Dajin and Leaf in here. And then after that, we'll have Iru and Megumi. And whoever wins from these two games will go on to the finals for first and second place. Uh, there are prizes. So first place, kind of small prize because I have to pay for it myself. But um, <laughs> first place is getting a monthly pack, a bi-monthly pack, and an AP pack. Meanwhile, second place is just getting a monthly pack and an AP pack. So there's not honestly that much difference between the prize between first and second. Yeah, you really just have to get there. I think the buy monthly pack is kind of kind of whatever. Um, but I don't think these players are playing for the prizes. These guys are. They have expressed that <laughs> they they do have fun with this kind of thing, right? Being able to play the game differently to um, how they normally do it. Uh, yeah, let's get back to here. So, just waiting for one players now. Um, Dajin is in here, just waiting for Leaf. Where are you, Leaf? Ah. Let's see. <clears throat> Hi, Dajin. All right. Uh, how about we just ping him at Leaf? Oh, all right. Yes, we did that. <clears throat> Um, I'm I'm kind of worried about talking. You know what? We can. I don't think Leaf is watching, right? So sh surely we can start talking about maybe some of the things he was doing and some of the things Sajin was doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. Never mind. He's here, so we can just start. Are we ready to start? <clears throat> Hang on. Let me try. Okay, so they're, they're building up their games right now. Um, we'll just let them do that. <clears throat> but yeah, I was I was super impressed by Leaf yesterday, and I'm I'm I don't know who to root for here. I don't think I really have a a, a bias, but I was impressed by Leaf's performance yesterday because he did finish. Um, <laughs> he was a he was not a favorite coming out of the qualifiers. Uh, let's say that. He was perfectly average, <laughs> uh, finishing the qualifiers six out of the eight players. Meanwhile, Dajin finished second out of the 
or third out of the eight players. So um, things are in Dajin's favor, but Leaf did show us that he had a he did at least did show us a very strong performance in the qualifiers, right? He did do his research. He has practiced, and that story comp at the very end there, where we we saw yesterday, that that was beautiful. I really like to see that. So hopefully we get more of that um, today. Oh, I think both the games have booted now. Uh, let's see. Watch this stream. Watch this stream. Channel video. Okay. We should be working. <clears throat> okay, so we're doing a coin flip now. And Dajin is picking heads, which gives Leaf Tails. So whoever gets the coin flip is going to get the armor pick. So Leaf gets first choice on armor. And whoever gets first choice on armor also gets first choice on bands. Mm. So we are... Oops. Sorry, you guys can hear the games. I should delete that. <clears throat> okay, sorry. Um, so we are getting... Oh, sorry. We're getting blue. So Leaf has taken us into special armor. And I am... I'll do force pick. <clears throat> and I'll do the force pick on stream. So hopefully I don't mismanage my 1 million windows. Uh, oh. Spin. Ah. <laughs> no, I was happy to see I was happy to see Shiviko. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Okay. Uh, your first pick is Yoshigi. Oh, that's so sad. That's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, so, yep, yeah, Evan, please proceed with the bands. Maybe so in the we future are... we, we can add the rule to force to use the X skill of the force pick. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that one. That, that, I think that might be a bit too far. I mean, it depends. It depends on how easy the game gets, right? Because eventually, insane yeah. is going to get really easy. And then we might need yeah. those kinds of limitations. But for now, I Indeed. think it's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, okay, sorry. so the bands are Summer yeah. Shizuko, Summer Izuna, Crack Yoka, New York Ayoko, and Wakamo. There's three more. Yep, let's to go. go. I'm trying to uh, catch up. So we're starting with Shizuko, then Izuna. Oh. And, oh, so Leaf has chosen to ban all repositions. Nasty guy. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I hope he has a his own strategy to handle that. Well, uh, not so, really all repositions. Just, just Memory is big still ones. in the play. Yeah, you're you're right. Just the two big ones. Um, the interesting pick here is the Mika ban. So Sakurako. Yeah. So Leaf has chosen Mika as their last ban. I'm not sure if that's an accident because I don't think anybody used Mika. Well, one Actually, person used Mika did. in blue, yeah. but it wasn't effective, right? They didn't win with it, so I'm not sure. <laughs> not really win, sure what's it... that about. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> okay, so these are our settings. Um, let's go on to the uh, football machine type. Six to two. Most of the supports are still <laughs> available. That's right. So we still have Akohimari. We still have no one's using Sumsu Hoshino, I know this. So people are, but like mm, not re not really actually. <laughs> at least for at least for um red. The uh, people ban Hoshino. The Hoshino. Sumsu Hoshino with Samon was pretty powerful. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. Like when you have right, because when you have more and more I suppose entities <laughs> on your team. Yeah. Uh and are the name tests correct? Oh, no, I feel it. How did I miss this up again? Uh, <laughs> good catch uh, in the comments. Alright, fix that. <laughs> <laughs> is that the third time we've had it flip? Yeah, man. I mean, this, this stuff is hard. It's kind of. <laughs> this stuff is really hard. Let me check. Okay, it is, it is right. 
though while we're waiting uh have we actually talked about the reasoning behind why the one who picks the color gets the first ban right yeah so we haven't talked about that that's because um we obviously picking the color is an advantage because you get to play on your own terms but uh we just we had a discussion at the back and we think um banning first is actually a disadvantage not because it's bad but because banning second is just better uh since you get to choose the last ban and when you have the power of the when you have the last ban you basically like dictate like the uh the terms of the uh yeah you're you basically have the final say yeah so you're going to fit the final piece in the puzzle so they are now starting you recognize your boy from anywhere how do you recognize someone from their formation screen that's insane <laughs> Hmm. Really? Oh, his pirate count. You're right. <laughs> anyway, mm. um, I like Michiru in Phase One. Uh, I like I like Michiru in general. She's a really fun unit. <laughs> but, mm-hmm. Though, uh, if I had to pick between Phase One and Phase Two, I'd rather put Michiru in Phase Two because she does have her own safe spot in Phase Two. That's true, and she can also, even if she's not in the safe spot, she can use her rocket to avoid cuts. Um, if you're yes. clever about it, and I did see some really funny strategies around that in uh, in the qualifiers. Leaf going with a restart. These are awesome. Yeah, things. that was an unfortunate bomb placement. So Leaf oh, is also using Azusa. Leaf is also using Azusa in phase one, which. Mm-hmm. Kind of mm. makes sense because Summer Azusa is powerful and Shira is the more annoying face. Right. <clears throat> is that, On the other hand, the to... gen is going with Maid Aris. Yes. Uh, very infamous crit reliant character. Um, let's see if we're going to settle for average here or we're going to have some really crazy crits. <clears throat> oh, he's also using double memory. Oh, the both they both have beam. Oh no, no, only Dajin has beam. Never mind. No, Never mind. The, <laughs> this is only using yeah. but the, the OG memory. Yeah. The attack speed on uh, on two memories is is pretty good because and Alice benefits a lot from that because her ba- autos hit like truck. Yeah. It's so insane. And Let's not only that, that, one of her skills is reliant on autos, so it's going to be earlier. I think her NS is every X auto attacks. Oh, he I'm restarted. Not sure actually, on how much? The he had a he had a sub two minute run. He restarted. <laughs> I think. Oh it, boy. Uh, did I right? We're it, going like, to be under, for in under two minutes. <laughs> yeah, like in under two minutes, he had a Shiro cure. He restarted that. He didn't, he didn't take it. It's insane. Surely, surely you take yeah. a two minute Shiro cure. <laughs> mm-hmm. What the hell? All right, let's see what he's doing. Uh, Yuichi has a question. Oh, he's restarted. Can two too. attack speed X skill stack on each other? Uh, that depends. Uh, uh, in, in this in... case. Yeah, go. So in this case, yes. So in memories. In, in the two using two memories, um, they will stack because uh, memories cover the, the the beach umbrella is an aura, and her picnic basket is like a like an application, right? It's like a direct buff. So because they come from like two different like types, like targeting types, they will stack. <clears throat> Both of them are very crit. Resetting right now. Yeah, they, they have six Are we actually going to... <laughs> Is our first match actually going to be double DNF? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, man. I don't know if you want to be DNFing on blue <laughs> of all colors. Like, blue should be the easiest one. Uh... Yeah. Or maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe, well, opens... maybe yellow is harder. Mm, depends on the bands, really. Yeah. But, but blue, but no one should be fairly blue right bands, now. Oh no, what are we doing? Blue should be fine with these bands. <laughs> What are we doing? But yeah, we're having a showdown right now of the indoors and urban carries. The swim set as the end. Oh main no, <laughs> Daji missed his cover. He he put it too close. So the and board dropped on top of Asuna's head. 
<laughs> it's just bonked in the so, head. Yeah. Two big balls. The people watching, uh, if you the ball spawns on top of you, even if you're undercover, you're going to get bonked. <laughs> yeah. So just think of it like a like a bowling ball, right? It has to. Oh no, Leaf missed his cover too. Oh, that's it. <laughs> this is a trap. Going, we're going to five minutes, and no one's. I neither has finished phase one. Come on, guys. This is supposed to be the. the <laughs> So like going too greedy. You're getting way too greedy. Yep, it's the greed time, which I mean. Dajun, makes Dajun sense. had a perfect run, man. Then, like, no way he gave it up. Now it's getting to like five minutes left, the stress is going to start settling in. They're going to be like, oh shit. <laughs> they're, they're going to be thinking about it really hard. On normal runs, my time to go, oh shit, is actually in, at 15 minutes usually. Right, and they have less than that <laughs> to finish yes. a whole run. <laughs> Right. Is it best of three? Yeah, it's best of three and zero zero right now. And yes, memory and Izuna skills do stack. <clears throat> yes, on Izuna's case, it's because the attack speed on Izuna is a self buff. <clears throat> so self buffs and team buffs generally stack with each other. Don't forget. Okay, I'll ping for you. Uh, leave. This is an unfortunate stance. Mm. Could have, if I, I probably just leave memory getting bombed and just yeah. save the other tree. Because you, you really want Haruna to stay alive as a damage. Uh, he doesn't have much time left to finish this, so it might be a bit. Yes. Oh, oh now his DPS is dead. Oh, he's screwed. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, it's not. A, oh, I mean, if if they double DNF, it might not be. It might not be completely over. Nah, nah, nah. You can't for. Nah, nah, nah. For, so you can't until, forfeit that. That's until the other person far. finishes. He Liz is probably gonna reset. <laughs> or rather, he needs to. You have to keep going. <laughs> you have to keep going, buddy. I, I reckon if he, could, <laughs> if, he, if, he, if he reset that immediately. Instead of typing, I think he could have still made it in one go. Mm hmm. And you see, it's, it's still possible. Just get possible. some hyper crits. Yeah. Well, Leaf, Leaf might not finish, but I'm pretty sure. Some... Hopefully, we see that you finish. Something to consider is that the <laughs> max speed is actually around a bit less than double. So, this three minutes is actually more of around five minutes. Five. 5 minutes, 30 seconds yeah, in I, game time. I think it's time. totally possible to finish. Yeah, so it's still possible. <clears throat> oh, I mean, Dajin is going... So this, this, I, this is why I like Azusa on Phase 2. Um, and I do generally recommend it to like everybody like trying this for the first time. Uh, if, if you're doing like Shirokuro and say for the first time, like Azusa on Phase 2 is the way easier and at least more guaranteed way of beating this boss. Um, with basically very little room for error because of the safe spot. Yep, and, how, and, and just how much damage that, she does, like it's the same. <laughs> she's also a quite consistent damage dealer because uh, a lot of her damage actually doesn't come from... Well, she gets a lot of damage from crits, but there's also a huge part of her damage that comes from attacks that do not crit, so yeah. that's also less mild. So, um, a lot of people think like Azusa. I think I, I, I've seen some sentiment on Discord that like Azusa is a little bit out of date, but like, I'm, no, she's not. She's actually she's a two year old unit that actually keeps up with a lot of modern play blue units. Um, if you think about it like properly, uh, she has a five thousand percent multiplier <laughs> on her X. It just happens to not crit, yep. you know. So <laughs> uh, because of that, we should see him get the kill right here. And there you yep. go. Yep. And <clears throat> it's dead. <laughs> Actually, is Aru still the best? Listen, no. Aru, I mean, Aru's still not. Is Aru still the best one now? I'm still the best one now. <laughs> now, yeah, sure. In global now. <laughs> so Dajin has finished and Leaf has withdrawn. Uh, Leaf, Leaf, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure if you like kept going and didn't type at us, I'm pretty sure you would have got it. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunately 
true. That was well. To be fair, it's possible to clear, but it's probably hard to beat the score. Maybe yeah, because Dajin did pull off a really fast score. I think two minutes in phase one and two, just a little over two minutes in phase two. So it would be pretty hard to beat that, but. You know, but I, I would say I, I would say clearing is better than the embarrassment of yeah. not finishing. <laughs> that is true though, because clearing means you have a score for the tiebreaker. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, let's reset this. The so dungeon is going to get to pick, and we are good. He is taking us to red. Oh. The Hina doesn't exist. No, she exists. <laughs> I mean, Aru at her peak in urban is still better than Hina. It's just you know, you just you just gotta crit one hundred percent of the time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Actually, you can also just crit the Hina one hundred percent of the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. I'll do my force pick now. Let's see. Uh, your force pick is. Okay, not completely useless, but still kind of not that useful. Are we going to see some Irish strats now? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> no way, not, <laughs> not, this is way too, it's way too slow. Like, like you might have it like a, as a last like desperation attempt for um, <clears throat> if you're like about to DNF, you really need to guarantee it. But usually, there's always a faster way. Yeah, and if you're just going for to avoid the DNF, it's probably going to be against the rules if you're going to put Haruka there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so the first band is again. Summer Nanami. So we've we've basically seen you her on Pro Band for this whole tournament now. Um, she is kind of really insane, even if it's not her. Sorry, Azusa. So far, it's for DPS. Would you say Nonami is easier to use and borrow for, in, over Azusa and Sari? If you're, if you're hmm. like clearing for the first time, like for if your first If I'm clear. clearing for the first time, honestly, I would probably say, if you're doing this for the first time, I would say borrow a red armor because mm, okay. this is the, for a first timer. It would be harder to do repositions. At least, uh, red armor is more lenient. With how you reposition. So people like Aru. Though people might hate the crits. I feel like she doesn't do rather. enough damage though. Like Aru Aru might be a bit like she's she doesn't yeah, die, Aru, but this is her worst mood, yeah. Though they're still also like there, New Year Haruna. Mm, yeah, which okay. we've Haruna seen is a good decent one, yeah. damage, yeah. The important part is, at the very least, you get to play around, and then after you have more you room get for error, around, right? You're not going to yes, like, like you build up and... enough foundation yeah. so that you can play. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hmm? So, Azusa Shizuko is Hoshino. The last ban is Aru. Right. So a lot of the big DPS are in here. Uh, yep. Wait, so these we're are going all to be multi DPS <laughs> teams. Wait, these are these oh, are all the main characters. Do we? Well, we still have Mutsuki. Yeah, you're right. But hmm, Mutsuki. Okay, are we going to see some Hina runs? I don't know, man. I, I, <laughs> you were just talking about you know dying. <laughs> so, well, that was for new people. Oh, these fair enough. <laughs> fair enough, I guess. Oh yeah, we still have Nagisa. True. Nagisa, oh, yeah, Nagisa does some damage. I don't know if it's really enough on a single does target. Does some but damage, but the it's more of her sub skill uh, and the defense down yeah. at a low cost. So it looks like we are using Haruka Phase 1. I'm still not sure about We're Toki. Doing... It's the second time I've seen Leaf use Toki. Actually, um, it's the third time we've seen it on stream. Yeah, and it's the second time Leaf is using it. That's what I'm saying. Yes. It's kind of, it's kind of, kind of. I don't know. I'm not. A, it's I'm not probably just 
We're probably just not used to using Taki herself. <laughs> oh, this is going to be going for the double Taki. It's free. His his Taki is free stuff. Right? He's gonna need some damage, though. Yeah. I mean, because considering we've banned like most of the you common banned all of them. like surely you have Seriko and Shiriko, right? Sh Shiroko. Shiroko is also honestly, other than the cost, she's pretty meh here. At least okay. for me, so, I so, think. So she I is. did see, I did see that Leaf does have a, uh, a properly raised Shiroko and Seriko. But like when you yeah. don't have any DPS and you need to go multi DPS, like it's it's, it's your best option. <laughs> yeah, I mean the sad part about doing Shiroko and Serika is that you're going to end up with a very fast rotation that you might end up actually wasting DPS. True. So that's you're what, going to want to. That's what the it out. Uh, that's what the Hibiki or the Mashiro is for, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and oh. speaking of Hibiki. Hibiki is actually going to be useful here, I guess, because yeah. uh, it's Shiro and Kuro are both pretty large, but not large enough. So you can actually hit all five Hibiki mortars, but it's going to be a tight. Uh, it's going to be tight. You're going to need like an exact like positioning, huh? Yeah. So we've started. Lead is inside. Ooh, I, I saw him. They are both going for Mutsuki Phase One. Dachin actually has uh, Dachin actually has two blue damage dealers on his team. Yes. Wakamo. And... Wakamo and Summer Izuna. So one thing about Wakamo is that like a lot of her damage actually comes from uh not from the flat attack, but actually from the damage amplification, like all the damage amplification that you can put on top of it. So mm -hmm. not having yep. the two times multiplier from blue on blue is actually actually makes her weaker than you think she would be. Uh, <laughs> in other colors. That's what people said about Dress Hina. Oh well, it's it's the thing <laughs> is that Dress Hina isn't relying on those like end multipliers to do her damage, right? But Wakamo is. Yeah. Though regardless, Wakamo is still a decent option. Yeah. Uh, she is uh, sunglasses and an actual damage dealer. She's nowhere near Mika levels, but she's there. It's actually kind of convenient to have a tank like Haruka on the team because um, it it forces the bombs to, you know, it, it yeah, can make the bombs out. go on top of her, yeah. And then you don't have to worry about, you know, saving her because she's a tank. So, yep. I can see that Leaf is enjoying his time. Like, he hasn't had any, like, issues with, like, problematic bomb placements. Yep, and he even has the leeway to use memory offensively. Yeah, okay. He actually... Like, you've seen that really fast. X skill. Huh? Uh, he just wasted it. Well, not wasted, but used it to make Mutsuki hit all three mines. Mm. <laughs> He's got 10 cards and he doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if that was me, I'd probably use Shizuka to block a card. Okay, there we go. I see. He's going to be saving Haruka. I mean, might as well keep the cost going for a little bit longer. Yep. Oh, nice. So we do get to see. That should be the Leaf? final memory X of the I game. Think, I think Leaf or... can reasonably go for a... Like, you know, that can't be a one pan, but his second team will be really fast. Yeah, it won't be a one pan, but at least he doesn't It'll need to really early forfeit because Haruka is already there. Like, it's almost dead and he's also out of... He doesn't need to use the force pick anymore. Yeah, exactly. So this should be... Oh, we know Dajin is restricted to using the, uh, the Haruka here, yeah. so it might slow him down a lot. So Leet is on, both of them are on their second teams. It is, does Dajin have the wrong so color? Okay, what, what am I looking at? <laughs> is Dajin actually playing blue here? <laughs> That's, uh... <laughs> mm. 
Just but if you can own a DPS, you know what? You you guys you guys shouldn't. <laughs> uh, uh, I would just like to remind people that people can borrow. <laughs> Wait, does, does no one have oh, Shiro Kosara? Oh, I don't know. I think Dajin is about to borrow someone. Yeah, he borrowed Toki, but I don't think he's very much of a damage dealer. Surely mm, we have some Shirokos same. around and Serikos around. Bro, you said Shiroko, looked pretty good, 544. Use Izumi. Where is the Izumi Ooh, at? Izumi. Izumi is neutral mood here, if I remember yeah. correctly. You just need to put in a safe spot with like a... Oh, 5445 Shiroko. What was the Serika? Honestly, was... Izumi's red armor and naturally tanky. She can mm. take the position to safe spot. Yeah. I mean, you want to eat her burger anyway for the uh, attack speed. Yep. And her bond gear makes her really strong. <laughs> so... It'd be pretty good to have here. Okay. Does, would would Sumsu Azusa do more damage than Serika Shiroko? No way, right? Mm. Maybe, 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 maybe Dajin's tested it and they know what they're doing. Maybe we're not giving him enough credit. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I think you haven't put the score yet on screen. A uh, what? The score. Oh, uh, true. the points. True, 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 true. I put Dajin one. Dajin's one. Okay, do that. Yep. Put it second. Okay, so let just use Summer Miyako so that he can... Uh, wait, why did he use um, Summer Miyako there? Maybe, <laughs> maybe he just wanted her to die. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Since everyone is in the safe spot, I would have brought Izuna, um, just for free damage, right? Yeah. But he does have some time. Mm. Four more damage. Wait. Yeah, this is this is Shiroko solo damage. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. damn! You're right. But Shun, Shun can auto attack for free, at least. Wait, that's actually kind of decent. Because he's double buffing. <laughs> Honestly, at like 5 million HP left, I'd probably just forego the he for me. And just go double DPS there. Yeah, true. Because you're not, you don't really need to care about protecting. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna die soon. Like a Serica would have been huge. Yeah, you're wasting cost on that, I think. Yep. Oh. Is... Oh, no. Okay. Kuro is a large enemy, so we don't get Shun's yes. double damage. Shun's echo is only on medium, which is still in size. I was going to say that maybe the uh, the the X might be worth it. Uh, but... I mean, the X is like on average, like three percent better than normal AEs. Oh, so Dajin did manage to finish. I, I feel like I don't know. What, what happened to everybody's Selicas? <laughs> did both of them just not have Selica? Oh, they both finished at the same time, and we are going to see. They're Dajin probably doing oh. this to spite Tornade. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. So Dajin did actually get out get a better run in the end. Um yeah, yeah. I think I think the game changer there is the solo Shiroko DPS. Yeah. <laughs> that solo Shiroko wasn't it. I think the Miyako didn't help much either. Like I wanna use like Serika Sh I would like uh, Serika Shun Izuna and then Shiroko after that. That would have probably yep. cleaned out the five mil really fast. Because he had a he had a really good start. Like five mil Face to only yeah. five mil to do is like really good. Yeah. yeah so that is that was very there. unfortunate. That's like a nineteen k difference. That's like what? Uh, eight seconds. Five right. seconds. <laughs> eight <laughs> seconds. It's two, it's two k. Uh, so one second is two k points. About. Yeah. So. Roughly ten seconds. Yeah. You had. Oof. Good, you were eight seconds apart. Should have used Serika or Izuna. Check my head. <laughs> As an H in the uh, Should have used Hina. Yeah, or Hina, or Izumi. Yeah, if you if you do yep. if you do Akane with Izumi Hina, you would have got that too. 
Like there was, there was the, 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 Leaf had a like Leaf like Leaf had a really good phase one and T one. Yep. Yeah. Oh well. You learn. Dahi was already <laughs> used, so Oh Are you guys had like four Wait. minutes left though? Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. The, the, this, this is this is this is how tournaments go, right? Just a live environment yep. really like changes the way you think, and you really have to like, you know, be able to. <laughs> Dude is now saying that he that. should have stream snipe. <laughs> oh well, that's a, that's really unfortunate. Uh, well, so this means that Dajin will go on to the finals, finals. and hopefully Iru is awake and Megumi is awake too. So just, a, just a little fun fact, um, both Leaf and Dajin are from NA and our next <laughs> our next players, <laughs> uh, Airu and Megumi, are both from Asia. So we're going to have a guaranteed uh, Asia versus NA finals. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that would be... And the rather interesting thing here is that both Leaf and Dajin still haven't done any ticket at all. <laughs> That's six out of seven. <laughs> Honestly, same. I haven't done mine. I'm <laughs> same. <laughs> I've only done like one mock with three resets, um, one tournament, and nothing else. I'm probably gonna do it after the tournament. Yeah, same. I might do it during the uh, the Japanese stream tonight. Tonight. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the very least. that be fun. Uh, I did random skills and still managed to somehow get it. So it should be fine, right? Yes, yes, Nothing's yes. gonna go wrong. Surely nothing will go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so let's call Iru and Megumi in here. I'll ping uh, your turn. <clears throat> Tornade not representing EU. And we, we were making fun of uh, the EU people in uh, during the Disgusting. during the groups. We'll be like, hey, let's eliminate the um the EU people so we can move the tournament to a better time but then it turns out we, we wanted to keep the time anyway so <laughs> <laughs> personally uh, I, I would like uh it like one hour later <laughs> yeah i mean that, that's that, I, f I feel like this one hour later will be fine but like the thing is like if we take yeah, one hour later no for eu it'll it, be like yeah. 3 a.m in the eu we'll be like oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's, it's that's, that's also right. likely why Tornade was half dead when yeah. he was playing. <laughs> yeah, he was he was making mistake after mistake after mistake. It's like, yeah, I I, I don't blame you. You look like super tired, but like when you wake yep. up tomorrow, you're gonna be like, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that that's so, more, that's embarrassing on Tornade's part. Oh, yeah, <laughs> take your sleep, people. Make yeah. sure you sleep. We're taking that beforehand. I mean, there's so, only so much you can do when a tournament's at one a.m. Right? <laughs> yep. So. Yeah, this is kind of how it is. <clears throat> so, Iru asked for five minutes. That's fine. Uh, Megumi and Iru do have a history. Um, I think they played against each other in Peroro. And I recall that Iru did win that encounter. Wait, was Megumi in the last tournament? I don't remember actually. But I think I, I did. I, Iru did win the last, the, the previous tournament. So, if. Um, if Megumi was in the last tournament, then I'm pretty sure Iru was the uh Iru would have beat Megumi. Um, since he since Iru was the winner. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh, oh Megumi's first tournament? Okay, I think I'm thinking of someone else. I think it might have been Oh, I think it would be Nemura I'm thinking about. So never mind. This is uh, Iru and Megumi's first time playing against each other. Um they didn't encounter each other in the groups because the groups are based off the uh Sorry, the elimination, the first round of the semis were basically matching the two different groups together. So A was A versus yep. B. <clears throat> uh, so, Megumi can be definite. Uh, we're just waiting for our players to get ready. Uh, in the meantime, mm -hmm. was there any observations about Iru or Megumi that you noticed? Oh, let's definitely Megumi. <laughs> Are they different now? Yeah, they're different now. Wait, let me just double check. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they can be listening to the stream itself. It's kind of. I mean, that's fine. It's fine. Very we, can, we can talk about true. it. We can talk about it. 
That's fine. So any observations about Mercury and Iru that you saw at all? Mm, at the very least, Iru has always used Ochin in oh, his true. fights. True. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Right. Uh, actually, he used it in like four matches, uh, four games. Hmm. So that's a strong contender. Uh, and Ma- I know Maki shows up in every basically every color because she's just free. <laughs> like she has a safe spot for free. Yeah. Like the defense down is just really nice, and her orders are really good. Um. <clears throat> Wonder hmm. if Iru will continue his F. Hmm. Let's see. So we've been. We are at nine thirty. Okay. So regarding the matches, uh, for this matchup, um, I do think Megumi has the advantage here because yeah. Iru is, uh, is uh, uh- not. Iru is free to play, right? Or like, at least a very, very low spender. I think from what I recall from conversations with him, like his roster is actually really, really shallow. Um, but he carries himself with extensive game knowledge. <laughs> yeah. He's a pretty, pretty smart individual. So I, I think Iru's advantage here is just knowing the game really well and like being able ad- to adapt around these like, these these picks and bands. Um, mm-hmm. Something, something with the bands, you can somehow bridge the gap between whaling and free to play. Yeah, though I refuse to call Iru as free to play <laughs> on a personal level. Yeah, <laughs> he's not, he's not, he's not a full, he's not a full whale. I, I, I believe he's like a low spender. Uh, yep, so Iru uh, has stated that they'll be able to get here in one minute. <laughs> Oh, well, well, he's a give me about five, so you know, it's mm, good time. If, if everybody needs like a key break, go take that. <laughs> Honestly, uh, banning enough repo supports would affect both players equally. Yeah, but banning yeah, DPS differ- is probably a bit yep. better. Sorry, differences because both players should know how to play around no repos. Mm, that's true. So it's more painful to have DPS banned and disable the free-to-play guy yeah. from the, dealing damage. The um, if you, because if you have all the repost banned but all the DPS open, you just you just kill the stupid boss before you even need to repost, right? <laughs> yep. Whereas on the other hand, if you if you remove all the DPS but keep the repositions open, then that means you are You're relying safe, on the fact. Open that you need to know how to repost. No. Yep. So like, if, if you repost better than the other guy, then you typically win, because the other guy will be resetting a lot if they don't know how to deal with certain bomb patterns. Meanwhile, yep. you, with your... Even though both of you have weaker DPS, if you know how to repost better than the other guy, then you'll basically guarantee yourself a, like, a decent clear. <clears throat> yep. And, uh, it is at least fortunate that this is the semi, so both all players are actually very knowledgeable about how to reposition. Yes. <clears throat> all right. So oops, this is not supposed to be light. Uh, Iru has come back, so we can start. Okay. <clears throat> Starting with a coin flip, and we're choosing our color. Ah. And Gumi is going for her heads. Your main account is monthly selector only. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, Watch yeah. Iru has two colors. Yeah. Iru has two accounts, so. Yeah. <laughs> but this is this is the F2P account. Wait. Ah, uh, okay. Never mind. So I'll do force pick now. Oh, that, I'm not supposed to be looking at that. Oopsies. Oh, okay. <clears throat> ba-dum, ba-dum. 
Your force pick is... Mutsuki. Mutsuki. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's something that the players would want. I think everybody's used Mutsuki in phase one anyway. Yes, so it's basically a <laughs> so it's basically full fight. No, yeah, there's no force pick. Yeah, um, there's no this, force pick because it's light armor. This this is effectively a um. Free I cuts. think this is a disadvantage for Iru. <laughs> Maybe question mark. Because yeah, he doesn't say get to face it. It's a disadvantage those. because both players will be using Mutsuki anyway. Hmm, maybe. Yeah, because no one's banned Mutsuki. Like people, people want to keep her open. I noticed. Yep. Three. Three plus. <clears throat> okay. So yeah. So um, if Aru does win this tournament free to play, then that is a very big statement to all the uh <laughs> to every other player. Um, there is a lot of uh. Like, B you can do a lot with what BA gives you. Yep, Burris. This, uh, what's she doing? Oops. D of Kaban. Wakamo Ban. Wakamo. That, that, that's gotta be a wasted ban. <laughs> that, 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 that. Are they going to want to play this as vanilla as possible? Mm, if we have Nonomi open, that whoops, that's me. They're gonna be Mori. Sorry. If if Sunse Nonomi stays open, then I think ooh, is Ari gonna spot this? <laughs> is I mean, Ari is in the YouTube stream, so okay. <laughs> Ari, get out of here. Last one is Summer. <laughs> Okay, get out of here, stop listening. <laughs> but yeah, um, I was going to say, if, if Nonomi was left open, I, I think Iru doesn't have Nonomi, but if Nonomi was left open, uh, I mean, he can still Megami would have, Megami would have had overworld advantage. 23 minutes, god damn. Yeah. Wait, 23 minutes? <laughs> Two minutes he means, it's okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so on the left we have Megami, let me fix his name, sorry. Right, we have. Oh, it's working for us. Might be. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, maybe his name is too big. <laughs> it's getting overlaid under the timer. So they're now preparing their teams. Uh, oh, I I just FTP account is is this is Greg Brick? Uh, yeah, this might be the Greg account. <laughs> the free to pay yeah. Greg account. <laughs> so this, this is going to be kind of interesting. Yep, it definitely looks like it. Hmm, let's see. What are you gonna do? Bad. So, you, how many repositions banned? Or oh, all the good ones? So, oh, whatever. Shizuka is still open. I'm surprised. Yep, Shizuka is still open. Not. Okay. Because normally what people do is they go like regular Shizuka and Sumsu Shizuka on the same team, right? So, I'm surprised to see both players choosing to use Kotori instead. Mm. Um, what was making me supports on other teams? I mean, banning memory at least lessens the impact on the attack speed reliant DPS, mm. which the free to play account might not have. Wait, are there even attack speed reliant that are? No, not really. A lot of gotcha. a lot of yeah. A lot of um, the red dealers are. Yeah, and really most of the reliant ones are free. Hmm. Okay, now I'm interested now. <laughs> we will see. So the hmm. Megumi is now entering Shiro. And Iris is still setting up his team. Well, we can let him set up. I mean this is time this is time that they're going to be using anyway, right? So uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Mm 
Maybe you should ping him. <laughs> uh, time started. Yeah, probably probably ping. Ping ping all the announcements. <clears throat> I mean, I really still at this uh moving, so Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we know we know they're awake. Uh I mean, maybe maybe this is a absolute show of confidence, you know. <laughs> maybe, maybe <laughs> or know. it's a uh, pure preparation for the perfect yeah, true. plan. True, true. Oh, so he's going to be buffing Hibiki. Oh, that's kind of smart, actually. Hibiki actually does a decent amount of damage. Um, a lot of people think she's outdated. I mean, maybe. Well, she is. <laughs> maybe, maybe, yeah. But like in a tournament <laughs> where where all the best units are banned, uh, she she she's, she's back to relevancy. <laughs> yeah. Though something interesting here is that in the group, only one person has used Hibiki. Yeah, that's which is surprising to me. I would have probably used Hibiki a lot more. Um, but then again, people haven't been banning our supports. So a lot of time, mm, yeah. Like she's you're forced a, to bring yeah. the supports. Yeah, like Akohimari are still open, like pretty much all the time. Like no one's banned Akohimari. All the, it's always the DPS that are getting banned. Mhm. Mm oh, okay. So maybe considering doing considering it's a like fast retreat, three supports and then one cover. That's four slots already. Yeah. Okay. So maybe we use Mutsuki, Shiroko, Serika. Um, and got a really good phase one clear. The 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 three musketeers, I like to say, because <laughs> they carry every every <laughs> FTP free to play account, free to play account. <clears throat> they they were the for my no gacha account. Yeah, the three musketeers for my no gacha account. They were the units I relied on the most for basically every every single piece of rare content ever for like two years straight. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, here. considering Mutsuki is still one of the top DPS. I mean, she still is, I'm so, pretty sure. Or yeah. uh, well, right now, she still is. Once Dina shows up. Meanwhile, the two cost rotations. Hmm. Megumi is now in phase 2 at 7 minutes remaining. Does Aru benefit at all from Chinonsu? Mm, not really. But it's still more DPS. Yes. <laughs> I mean, surely... Well, if he's already right. used Sir Shiroko and Seleka... Actually... Is there another unit you're... you could put there? Mm. Probably not. 650. Maybe... Uh, probably not another unit you could put there, so maybe... Maybe yeah, okay. Shinazu might be a decent play. Well, the, on the other hand, there's the option to like run to 750 instead and run Akane. True. But something interesting here is that sniper students are usually uh, have a high uh, attack cycle. Mm. Like each of their AAs would be slower, so it's probably going to be more effective to attack speed buff them because right. you're cutting off more seconds. Right. So they have slower attacks, but their each attack does a bit more damage. So, yes, buffing their attack speed might see some benefit, maybe. Yep. So, Iri is about to finish phase one, and Megumi is about to kill Kuro. Is Iri gonna be okay? Uh, that'll be alright. It's only been 1 it's minute 30. In... It's still 5 minutes. Yeah. This is actually Iris master plan so that he can find out <laughs> Megumi's score beforehand so he knows how much <laughs> he reset for. Yeah, but this, 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 we're sniping. <laughs> now he knows what score Megumi gets. Exactly. Okay. Ooh, Megumi's no mm -hmm. gonna go for reset. Uh, what happened there was um, Aru Boom. died before her explosion went off. So, yes. he lost all her buffs. No one's using Nagisa. I think Nagisa might be on, like, on a backup team, but maybe for. Maybe right now. Yeah, Nagisa should be a backup team. Yeah. Or at least a support. Yeah, but, but considering we still have supports, 
So there's really little point to using Nagisa. See what Megumi's doing. Let's look at her closer. Hmm. So one mil left. And a little, it's, it is going to be a little bit laggy, but uh, Motsuki doesn't die here. That's kind of nice. Yeah, maybe this is too laggy to watch. Never mind. Let's go back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We'll go instead to uh, uh, Megumi. Megumi here. So this is after another reset. Yeah, this is the reset. Um, I would say Megumi has like two more tries to get this done. Uh, mm, yeah, maybe two more maybe tries. three, most. maybe three. I don't know. It depends on how early. Yeah, it's probably resets. two. Yeah, two at most. So this is a full arrow crit mode. No, no, <laughs> nothing else. Um, not it's the vanilla crit mold. It's, well, that's vanilla. I think it's a bit risky in a tournament setting, but if it works, then it, you know it works, right? It's really yeah, if it works, it works. Oh, this Megumi is bad max because Chinatsu is gonna. Oh, this is really bad. Uh, okay, I mean, yeah, Chinatsu is blocking the um the, the cards, but it doesn't yeah. matter. I think maybe if if Aru gets a double crit, two right more here, Aru crits. One more arrow crit will kill. One more and is uh, it dead? No, no crit. <laughs> That's so sad. he's going to have to use the last X here. Just use Chinatsu. Oh, no, I... I would just Chinatsu and no, Asuna there. Z. Okay. Okay. So that his works. score is going to be. Oh, 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 one nine is a really twenty-seven four. <laughs> that is a really good score. So Come now on. we get to visit Iru. Um, Iru is not looking so hot. <laughs> for for yeah. four one nine is going to be a really hard score to beat because um, I, I think that's competitive to be like on the leaderboard. <laughs> that's kind of not to be on the leaderboard, like top one k easily in Asia at least. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and these guys are doing under tournament settings where you know all well, the good units are banned, right? So getting getting a score that good uh, with banned is like insane. I would really love to zoom in on Iris screen, but it's kind of laggy. <laughs> uh. Iris in slow mo, indeed. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, let's put some music on. Let's do this. Watch as Irugu steals the crit lock. Iru has one shot at P2, maybe. I mean, he could be like, because the stream is lagging, right? So maybe in reality, right now, he's doing phase two. <laughs> like, yeah. Maybe, right? I could, maybe the stream is like lagging super hard. You know, he, he's, you know, what if I restart his stream? On, let, me, let me try this. Oh, there we go. We time skipped. <laughs> oh, we time skipped. It's actually perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not well, like look at this. So, what did he end up doing? Is this a? <laughs> uh, looks like an arrow crit. The cock is there. But the coconut, the coconut is good because you can. Oh, can you even proc it? No, you can't. Let me you can't. Not enough hits. Oh, if okay. He needs to get the but kill the, the right bird. here. Oh. Oh, there we go. That's almost there. Oh, we're watching this in slow motion as it lags. I'm Bear? pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he's Ooh. done. <laughs> yeah, I should be done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But that slow. Like, yeah, that slow mo yeah. is actually <laughs> very funny with the timer. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it. Uh, but he lost it. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, Okay, so so yeah, I think he did clear before the timer, but um that was not good the enough to be delay, better yeah. than it's not good enough to be better than Iru anyway. It should be better than Megami anyway, so <laughs> Yep. Oh so that is a one zero Megami. Um 
Can you post your score O? Hmm. So how far apart was that? A four one nine is like a damn. That's 200 k points apart, which is a hundred seconds. Yeah, yep. like good a good minute. It's the phase one difference, especially since Iru had to throw a team at team one. Yeah, yeah. Like he had to waste thirty seconds cleaning up, uh, cleaning up phase one. The power of the credit card. Do you guys think Iru is struggling because he's on his free to play account? I don't know, man. He got this far. I think he can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It'll be fine. So we're playing yellow next. Yep. I go this. 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 Uh, go here. The fourth pick. Iris complaining that no one set near her now. <laughs> well, to be Time fair, to I did offer up some burrows if you ask me. <laughs> oh, 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 no! <laughs> I wanted to see Kotori! Oh, false pick, this is me. I wanted to see Kotori false pick. <laughs> that was unfortunate. A Kotori false pick would actually free up some bans because that means people would bring her in phase one anyway, so no yeah. one. Would be banning the repositions. Yeah, no one will ban Yuka, right? So oh, Yeah, no because... one will ban Yuka and Memory, Shizuka. That, that would have been That was unfortunate. <laughs> that would have been so Maybe fast. next color. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. Well, or we're next going... match. Speaking speaking of, we're going straight to uh banning these repositions that we we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, of course. With a... Yuka, Mika. Mika's expected. Mika's been on Pomo Band. We haven't seen her a single time in yellow. I yep, don't expect her to see her at all for the rest of the tournament. <laughs> she just completely yep. trivializes. I'm pretty sure you can just have like Yuka, Himari, Mika by themselves, three units, right? And it's clear. <laughs> and clear insane. Can you actually do that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I I'm think so, yeah. <laughs> so, so Mika completely trivializes this boss. It's, it's so stupid. Um, so it's gonna be a pure crit mold if Mika is there. Stab mold, you mean? <laughs> uh -uh. Stab mold, yes. Sorry, I've forgotten about stability. Yeah. Would would anyone like to test that out for us? Just run Himari Fuka because <laughs> in the boss by with only those three units. I just been working for me. Uh, not really, but I think it's awesome to restart. I think it'll be okay. Pina ban, bro. You know what? I'll try it. <laughs> on try auto. it on auto? on auto. I don't know. I don't know if that auto <laughs> because you know because um you want to optimize your rotation right because of uh. I mean, auto is more fun. Yeah, because if you could hit a point. You... Oh, true, but okay, fair enough. It's gonna be three units on auto. Though I'm probably not bringing him already. Oops. There's been actually a lot of Serena bans. Um, people, a lot, of, a lot of people in Discord are always overlooking Serena. Everybody, I, I hear, I hear mm -hmm. it's 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 disturbing to me how much I hear the sentiment. Oh wow, Serena! Like they like they like they express like shock. <laughs> they express some shock at the fact that Serena is a thing. Like, bro, she's she's got a AOE. 60% crit buff, like what the fuck, come on! <laughs> <laughs> She's easily one of the best units in the game! Like how are people so yeah. surprised still? But, it's yeah. in the sim- It's sim- and the best part is there's no limit to it. Like you can keep buffing like 100 as long as they're in the range. Exactly. And she, her buff lasts what, 40 seconds as well or something? Or was it 30 50, seconds? 50, 50 seconds? seconds? Yeah, so that's insane. I, well, either 40 or 50. Because at the very least, I remember using her with Iroha in Perva. Mm. I think if you if both her normal and her... What's it called? If both her normal and her... X, X are up, is it... Was it 
A total? No, it wasn't, right? Because that'd be too strong. I think it was. I forgot how much the total buff was. <clears throat> um, was get checked right now, actually. Let's yeah. see. Oops, it's true. Charlie. Oh. Serena Christmas is. It's like 43 plus 30. So that's like 80%, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 80%. yeah, 80%. That's, that's, that's almost as good as... Is it, wait, isn't Akko 70? Akko is like 60-something. Yeah, okay. Or 70-something, oh, but, but, yeah. but Akko has a sub, so it's, they're about the same. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> so it's crazy to me that people are surprised that Serena's a good unit. Like, she, she has the equivalent crit damage buff of Akko. <laughs> It's the only downside well, is that fair, as a striker, uh, as a striker, it's a bit harder to use. Serena's basic skill is actually pretty slow. Yeah, That's fair the enough. Part there. Timer. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll run. We'll just run ten minutes when they finish the formation. Yeah. <laughs> Grand assault yellow. Yep, life is timing it. Mm. So we are now seeing Meru and Nero. So it is once again a hit yeah. count fight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I really have to express again like how how good this this team actually is. <laughs> like I, I was never expecting it. I mean, I shouldn't be that surprised because I did it as a joke in Kite and Yellow, and it actually like outperformed a lot of people. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't know, man. It might actually be kind of decent. Oh, I stream died. Okay. Damn. <clears throat> so I did notice Iori is still open. Have we noticed? Are we? Did either player put Iori in the teams? Oh, there we go. I already noticed. This. <laughs> I thought it was going to be another case where they, they got. Just, uh, they just assumed that Iori was banned. Thinking Iori is banned. <laughs> bro, bro, that's the strat. Like we leave Mika open, and then like the other person just like. Like, my players just Forgets. assume get that Mika's open. Oh. Cause it's conditioning, right? Because both Iori and Mika have been perma-banned for the entire tournament. I mean, this is the first time we've seen Iori unbanned. But Me Megumi doesn't have Iori on his team. <laughs> oh, this, is the, this is the conditioning setting in. Oh, no. I think that's the advantage I has because I'm basically <laughs> watching the YouTube stream. I don't know, man. I don't know if he is. Yeah, maybe he is. I don't know. But Iori... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. We can start now. Uh, okay. Right. <laughs> I really should have asked beforehand, people. <laughs> <laughs> like, since Dra is already out, Dra actually asked me for yesterday's borrows. I put up my Kazusa. <laughs> delete all your friends. <laughs> Just delete Irie from your friends' list like right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so... I wonder if Megumi will notice that they're not using Iori and maybe... Iori, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Can you use Iori in phase two? Not really. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. well, she's 650 you range, right? Avoid... Because she's 650 range, but her X makes her move. Yeah, but... like she won't return to the same spot. Oh, she doesn't return to her point of origin. Oh, okay. I thought yes. I thought her X returned her to the same spot. Okay, so that. Uh, in theory, it would, but since she jumps around, oh, the the directions okay. will change. Okay. So yeah, she actually good. gets offset by a bit. By the directional change, the jump is based on the the direction she's facing. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but Kuro doesn't change direction, so. Yeah, but Iori herself jumps around. Ah. Okay. So okay. each shot, the direction changes. Yep. But regardless, you can still avoid individual mm. uh, carts. That's true. You gotta be really good at timing, though. So, so it's definitely better to have uh, Iori on phase one if you can. I remember doing hardcore 
siguro it, you're jumping around <laughs> unfortunately that was with one hit but this time she's gonna die if she gets hit so Megumi is already using Suzumi Yeah, which means they don't need to use Suzumi for phase two, which gives them a very slight advantage in terms of team comp in in, in that case. Mm -hmm. Well, that mm -hmm. depends on how fast I can do phase one. Yeah. I I really like the the decision we made to put a uh, force pick on other team because then that 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 does add that extra layer of strategy on like, do I want to sandbag phase one, phase two? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That, that is kind of interesting. So Iru is. Did finish their first team. Oh, both players finished their first team pretty quickly. <clears throat> and abstract in comments saying for Mika, uh, Mika can solo Shiro but not Kuro. How much how much HP will be remaining on Kuro? Because if it's a very low amount, I'm pretty sure. Like if you have an actual real team backing them up. Uh oh. Do they both disconnect? <laughs> That oh, is no. very interesting. Uh, we didn't we, we have a rule on disconnection. We we do have a technical pause clause, so we are we can extend the time if it comes down to it. Uh, I think. Okay, there we go. His his score finally saved. That's good. <laughs> the, the, the most tragic part would be if the HP didn't save. I think that would be the sad part. I think yeah, disconnecting is fine, but like, oh. Oh, Kuro dies to Feather. Ah, and yeah, because as if she's the only unit, then she... she yeah, All she, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. So, just to my ref, um, if Megumi needs like a minute extra time, then we'll, we'll get Actually, it Actually, you can also dodge the Feather. Oh, wait. No reposition, Mika also yeah. dies to the ball. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean... Yuka is available right now as uh, as banner character. So if and if people roll Yuka like we recommend, like we strongly recommend, then just having yep. Yuka, Yuka, you know, will will probably get you a decent kill. Very rough, Iru. Megu is eighteen seconds ahead. Damn. Megu oh yeah, and Iru, seconds. Iru needs to have Iru needs to have um, Suzumi, Suzumi yeah. on their team, so that slows them down a lot. Unless you're going to call Suzumi DPS. <laughs> then, uh, so Suzumi, Bungear, uh, made her actually relevant, but not in this raid. So yeah, these both of these people should have a raised Suzumi. Mm. Oh, okay. Megumi's uh, swimsuit Ui strat was what impressed me the most in uh in the qualifiers. <laughs> uh, the repositioning mm -hmm. the whole team into that that left corner was is like was super impressive to me. Um, it surprisingly dodges a lot of things. And it's actually mm -hmm. also surprisingly really strong. <laughs> because you get the full buff of Ui, right? Oh! Wow! <laughs> That's insane! <laughs> what the hell? Making Hasumi dot. Oh, protecting wow! Hasumi. Bro! <laughs> but he didn't <laughs> take it! Oh, he, he, he's not happy with the crit. What the hell was that? <laughs> Oh, timing, <laughs> timing the um the Ui repost perfectly well, yeah. to get the, and Ui, I didn't know Ui's in a safe spot when she does that. So after you use her coffee, she moves herself into a safe spot right in that corner, and then, and then because Hasumi is the most furthest away from the coffee, she's also the last one to get to the coffee, which means Cherino and Ui walk out in front, uh, before Hasumi does, so that lets you block with. Cherino and Uli. Oh my god, this is <laughs> this is insane. <sighs> wait, hold on. We 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 need to see a close up again. We, we when we when it gets to that pattern, we need to see a close up. All right, all right. Here it is. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, you got it, <laughs> bro. How much? How much practice does it take? Oh, the thing is that he has to get the kill here. Oh, because is Hasumi in the way? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so almost a big brain play. Not quite. Almost, almost. a big, big brain play. Well, I mean, if, if that allowed you to get an extra Hasumi X, then it would be a really big brain play. Yes. But it, but it didn't. That, that's something, that's that's a good thing to know, though. Like, maybe if... It's you know, also like a 1 minute 30 second run. Yeah, exactly. 2M remaining. 
So he's what? just gonna shun the final team. Yeah, exactly. And he doesn't need to worry about Suzumi either. Yeah. Uh, intentionally not ewing Hasumi so it doesn't override Hiromi X. Actually, it's more of 5 Ghost since he's only going to use Hasumi one more time. Yeah, it's not uh, worth You're even... spending 3 to use 3. That's a total to of 6. Two. If it was yeah. he was using 2 more Hasumi X, it should be fine. But considering it's only one more, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not worth it. Oh no, Iru, Iru do be molding on the Iori at this same thing. <laughs> Damn. But the Iori was bait the whole time. Uh, maybe Megumi <laughs> was a smart one to not use Iori. The Iori was bait the whole time. <laughs> oh, Megumi is not using Shun. Yeah. I think I think if you wanted to use Iori, it would have definitely have been in phase one, not phase two. Yeah, probably in phase one, so he can she can dodge some bombs. Otherwise, maybe you'd run like Asuna, Asuna Izuna to save Iori. Like legit, have two two bodyguards just for Iori, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. That's, that's probably what I would try to do. So Jun, so Megumi is running Junko Mid Midori, and Utaha is not a good thing in my opinion. Yeah, because that happens. I, don't know. It's like I mean, he's about. using Meru, so it's probably just oh, for true, pure fair damage. Because I think the boss will die soon enough anyway, so... Yep, there we go. it's like oh. 100k away. There we go. And it's dead. Do you know? Oh, I think Ari can finish, maybe. Maybe not, actually. <laughs> it's just it's really tough. Oh, okay. So okay. Megumi so got... So Iru, Iru didn't pull off the, the coffee repos. Um, well, maybe he did, but like not in the same way Megumi did. So M Megumi has a setup where where Ui walks herself into a safe spot. Um, I need to, I need to go study that VOD so I can like write it down. Because <laughs> 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 we, we need to know this stuff. What the fuck? Ha who, who discovered that? Did Megumi discover that themselves? Right. Uh, or, people have should, or people should have, have been using... People have known uh, about Ui for yeah okay. back in JP too yeah probably yeah. just probably yeah studied. probably from probably from JP because no one did freaking insane in JP right freaking yeah <laughs> Corbin is so free so but I guess to no be one fair to though do. it's Kuro in torment is the same pattern fair enough it's just that like the so, um the alternative so the difference here like, is no true, one would be using it? summer Ui with Hasumi true true so. Yeah, Megumi saying that it was an accident. Oh, it was an accident? Bruh. Oh, you accidentally found it, but you did discover it yourself. It wasn't like researched. That's that's impressive, honestly. <laughs> that is so impressive. We I need we need to go look at that one. I mean, a lot of the stress we find are accidental, right? I, I yeah. the um the Akane repost thing was something I found as well, but that was purely accidental. <laughs> um, Wait, which Akane repost? The, the not Akane repost. The Akane safe spot on her. Okay. That kind of safe spot with uh, some 50s. I think I found that accidentally. And I was like, shit. <laughs> mm. That's cool. Okay. Well, Rip Iru. Uh, he did end up getting 2 0 this, this this match. Uh, unfortunate. Which is unfortunate. Um, but this is. His excuse is that this is the free to play account. Uh, he does own two accounts. So. <laughs> The, so well, this it's is, the is big thing that he made it to the semi-final. Yeah, exactly. Like he managed to show up every other guy. Like we had some really strong contenders in uh in the uh other brackets. Yep. What placement was he in uh in the in his group? Let me check. Wasn't he like the one? Well, yeah, he went he went three for zero in his group. So yeah, yeah, that's insane. <clears throat> Alright, so now that this game is over, uh, we are getting, this is actually a rematch between Megumi and Dajin. Since Megumi and Dajin did play in the groups together, so mm -hmm. we are going back to, um, we're going back so to watching the same matchup. it's a group A fight. Yeah. What was the history so, between Dajin and Megumi? Uh, Dajin is three wins, Megumi is two wins, one loss. Right, but 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 between Dajin and Megumi, like, what, how did their game go in the groups? 
the, the matchup. Um, wait, let me just check too. Ajin. Oh. Okay, it was it was two for zero Dajin over Megumi. Mm. So this will be a um <clears throat> rematch. This is a rematch with Megumi on the back foot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully hopefully we see a better showing from Megumi. Hopefully we see more of that crazy tech. That's that's so fun to see. This is this is this is this is what the tournament's for, right? That's so yep. cool. Uh, okay. So back to here. Let's reset the screen. Uh, close this. Go over here. Close this. Uh, short break? No problem. We can take a short break. Five minutes. Mm -hmm. If you guys need a pee break, go take an L. Uh, <clears throat> so, short break. So what are we going to talk about now? I don't know. Do 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 you do you not need a break? We've been here for a while. <laughs> I could I could actually mm. just shut down the stream for five minutes. Actually, if you don't have anything to talk about. Mm, do we have anything mm. though? I don't know. Um, I really just said should have used Iori Face One. Yeah, we were saying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were saying that. Too much skill issue today. It's unfortunate. Um, SMH, I do. That's, that's <laughs> just something that happens, yeah. A, 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 lot of, a lot of sussy decisions, but no. What can you do? Free to play yes. account, am I right? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> is that the excuse, maybe? Question mark. Any expectations for the stream? Uh, um, Between. So, so we did say earlier that Dajin did win the matchup before but Megumi does look like yep. they've been practicing and they probably would have learned from the experience like this, this is the same matchup right and uh yes. they, they might have like the looked back matchup. on the experience and see it checked like yeah. though for reference uh Megumi's uh fight uh match against uh, Dajin he did uh DNF on red mm, mm. so that's an immediate loss for him unfortunately meanwhile the yellow one they were one minute apart so those were the two matches so we'll see if uh there's going to be a comeback here yeah but i think that was also like oh was that the last game on the day hold up I wonder if he... no it's the fifth uh it's a uh, match five of group a doesn't make me oh no that, yeah there that was that was on round three okay yeah hmm, hmm okay but yeah, like we said, but Megumi also like showed everyone up on the qualifiers. The difference was that maybe maybe they didn't adjust very well to the um bands, to yeah. the bands, yeah. So with that, maybe with that experience and that one day's of worth of reflection, maybe Megumi has uh, had a chance to work out some strategies around the bands. Yep. So actually, I think uh, there's considering this uh, vid. Uh, the stream, uh, the match against Iru, I think Megumi should have a really high chance now. Mm, Seems mm. like he did have some more practice now. Hands-on practice. Mm. <laughs> Finding more accidental stress with the, with the Susu. Ooh, yes. <laughs> can, can we get back <laughs> to that? What was, the, what was the position that we needed to, to get that to work? Um, I wish I could bring up the screen right now. Hold up. Uh... <clears throat> Because I think I think it was something very specific. Like you needed probably like a seven fifty or something on like on maybe maybe slot two, and maybe it only works with Chirino question mark. Who knows? But I something know to, to, to make it work. There too is that the cart hit mm -hmm. while Hasumi was walking towards mm. the yeah, coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it can't be too far to, and can't be too near. Mm. Is Dajin American? Uh, they play on the NA server. I'm not sure if they're actually American. You can play. You can be on the NA server without being American. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so they're, they're, North, they're North American, uh, but they're not necessarily American. USA, USA Ian <laughs> from the states. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, we can start then. So both players are back. Okay. And we can go Dajin versus Megumi. This is the finals! Clap, 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 clap. Big hype, question mark. 
Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Puppy says, doesn't matter, he's playing for Team USA tonight. <laughs> that is a very American thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> If you're if you're if you're from NA, you're you're Team USA. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is this is this is uh, NA versus Asia right now. Of uh, Megumi representing Asia, Dajin representing NA. So Megumi <clears throat> gets the armor pick. Nice. Uh, and we are taking. We're starting with red. red. Okay. Uh, I'll he wants to redeem his pick. DNF. Yes. Okay. I'll do the first pick now. Uh... It is. Let's see. Your first pick is. Oh! <laughs> oh. Who is it? Sure. Okay. Oh, okay. Shizuko. That's. Also. Wait, this. How many Shizukos have we gotten in Force Pick? It feels like a lot. Surprisingly a lot. <laughs> Surprisingly <laughs> a lot. Honestly, I want to see I want to see Shimiko as Force Pick, not Shizuko. Because Shimiko Actually, is different, she, right? She can like, can't double block currently, right? No, Shimiko cannot double block on insane. Insane, yeah. You can you can UE50 her, have her fully maxed, and she will not double block. Uh, yeah. Unless you bring a HP sub. Yeah. Yeah, Shimiko would have been an interesting force pick, yeah, exactly. obviously. Because because Shimiko's You're interesting because to do one block. Yeah, one lane, right? So that that changes how you play just slightly, yeah, just so very slightly. But yeah, this is. I mean, most people, everybody uses Shizuko anyway. Like very few people have done Akohimari in phase one. So, um, this yeah. people aren't really changing the way they play from this. Mm hmm. Bunny Toki. Interesting. interesting band that might be a throwaway actually no she's actually really strong actually she's actually decently yeah, strong she's 650 650 two armor. cost really decent damage she's better than what's her mood she also the box was, was it was it neutral mm, let's see talking money her mood is sad indoors ah okay so Demon but indoors but she so she's still mainly a debuffer. She yeah, does shred true, crit true. damage resistance. True, 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 true. It's better than Shiro Kuro. Your Haruna and the S Hoshino are the and final bands. Last band. Hmm, so Summer Nanami Sour... Oh, okay. The Yoka oh. is open. Yeah. Yes, but considering we're going to be using Shizuka anyway, it's probably... Not that relevant. Shiroko, man. Regular Shiroko. That's not something we've seen before. Um, that is a lot of 650 disabled, actually. So you are you don't actually have much choices left for in terms of those 650s. Um, otherwise, mostly standard. Uh, mm -hmm. So going to the this one. So Yuka is going to be open for like the first yes, time in a very long for time. Red. Sorry, the screen is wrong. On stream at least. About to be So they're now preparing their teams. For Spiky Shizuka, we're likely seeing her on team one. Mm. Yes, are people going to use Yuka? And I think Megumi is choosing to use Yuka. Let's see if Dajin chooses to use Yuka. Yuka does make it super comfy, but in my opinion, if you if you can do without her shield and use Mimori instead, that attack speed might yeah. be slightly better. Okay, I really use Tiyuka, open as well. at the very least with Tiyuka, uh, you don't you have like almost no pressure at all because even if you get hit, it's just going to get go to the shield. Yeah. People say that Serica has been uh, really important today. I mean, that that is true. And also, um, <laughs> Serica was actually banned a decent amount in, in the groups. <laughs> um, uh, change names and names, names are good. <laughs> yeah, so, so Serica was actually banned a decent amount, so we actually didn't see that much Serica, but yeah, she, she, she is going to be, uh, she is going to 
do her thing I think in in these uh in these finals here mm-hmm. <clears throat> what DPS do we still have open because we've banned all the big ones so Sarari Azusa Nonami I think are the biggest DPS uh, we still have Arun have... and Sony at the very yep. least uh, we also have Izumi as I've been saying <laughs> true uh... <laughs> true and real uh, oh yeah so now that we don't have Shiroko and we don't have Toki too because a lot of I think a decent um, team for phase two would have been like Toki Shiroko, right? One on four, mm-hmm. one on four. Yeah, one on four. Actually, uh, if we're going with DPS, technically Misaki would count too. Misaki is 850, right? So 850, she, will, yeah. she will need to she has... survive, um, is a problem. Well, I was talking more, I was thinking more about Shiro face because at least even ah, if she moves, for she's Shiro. going to deal damage. Okay. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. The, p- the problem is okay. If if we had Misaki's bond gear, she would be really good. Um, yeah, she would be. I think Misaki would actually be top tier if we had bond gear right now, but we don't. So uh, yeah, because Misaki's bond gear is what a flat five hundred defense shred or something. Isn't it uh, penetration? The yeah, penetration. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's what I mean. Like it's like a flat yeah. five hundred penetration, right? So. Is it five hundred or is it? I think it's five hundred. But it, yeah, it puts it, it. It does basically completely remove the the reduction from the defense. Shichiro. Yeah. Uh, and this uh, is the actually, second time. Actually, it's not five hundred. It's oh, six hundred fifty. It's six hundred and fifty. Yeah. So that that basically completely removes it. Then, Nonomi, yeah. if I recall correctly, was like seven hundred, right? So, Nonomi is still technically better in that regard, but like fifty defense is like nothing. It's like a three percent damage reduction or something. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Actually, Nanami is close to Mizaki. Nanami is like 680. Mm, okay, okay. Makes a lot of sense. But yeah, uh, enough enough hypotheticals. Um, let's go yeah. back to the present. Let's focus uh, on the game. Uh, and so... Wakamo. Is this. Did, did, was Dajin the one using Wakamo in red before? Or is that someone else? Is it, are they just. Pull out the history. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look again. But, um, the. Lots of resets from both players. I noticed Megumi yep. is resetting <laughs> out of his ass right now. Both like people just, are. Both people using are resetting like crazy. Memory. Very weird. Memory and Summer is enough. <laughs> so Yuka is open, but no one's choosing to use Yuka. Um. <laughs> Which I think, again, like I said, that's totally it's fair for because the offensive, yeah. it's for the offensive capability, right? Like, if you. Yuka is comfortable, but being comfortable might not be what wins games in, in the finals. <laughs> you really want to have a better score. Yep. And not only that, but though, worst case, if they end up melding too much, they might uh, remove memory for the Yuka later on. If they still can exit phase one. Hmm. Fewer resets also means you can mold harder for crits. That is fair. (laughs) (laughs) Fair enough. So if we go into actually no, I'm not gonna zoom in because we can kind of see what's happening from here. Red is such oh, a clown okay, fiesta. So... Yeah, I think Red has the most DNS in the whole tournament. <laughs> <laughs> like uh... I think it should be like red is basically I think he's the strongest color out of all three colors, um, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. But uh It's because people refuse to use Hina. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> but, uh... But I think like red is the strongest color, but because but it's only because the DPS are so ridiculously strong, right? When you actually take those yes. DPS away, um, it does it does become just a little bit more difficult. Uh, yeah. Well, at the very least, red does have a more balanced roster than the other two colors. True, because we we also have lots of multi DPS options, unlike the other yes. two. Yes, we have DPS and AOE. As backups outside of the hyper carries. Yeah. So we did say earlier that no, we did see earlier that Megumi finished in just a little over two minutes, so he had like a two fifteen score. 
And but he's probably going to take this now. Yep, and Dajin is coming out with about a 230-240 mm. score. Wakamo Blast took off 400k. Yeah, that's actually a, quite a decent decent amount. Yeah. Ooh, and forfeit. Okay. So that's that's a gonna... 245. I think he will take that. There's not enough yep. time to reset right now. No more resets. <clears throat> And then Megumi is doing a Arumo team. Mmm, spicy. Mm, again. <laughs> <laughs> spicy. spicy Five choice. minutes left. Uh, very spicy. Like, if you had like seven minutes to do that, I, f I think I'd understand. But ooh, ooh. Five minutes to be kind of spicy. Who knows? He could be very lucky. Oof. Cherino pushed Asuna out Ooh, of space. It was a double crit on, on NS. What, what are Megumi's crits right now? <laughs> Might not even Damn. need a double crit this Whoa, one. Below. Oh, yeah. double crit! Okay, this might be it. Let's stop him to make me. Damn! Oh! One more crit? Megumi is throwing his luck. Are you gonna use all your luck this this time? Okay? Yep. Very good. Oh! This is it. This is RX right here. No, surely RX. Don't you know. Don't worry. Oh! He played it safe. One more. I would throw the RX there instead. Yeah, yeah. If he RX did, I think he would have got it. I mean, considering he has such but a massive this is the way. This is this is to guarantee. Yeah. That, 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 that's yep. Cool. So this is. That is it's really probably fast. close <laughs> to one punch score. <laughs> that is really fast. That's yep. like a four minute thirty seconds. Four forty five. Uh, yeah, like, this should be really fast. God damn. So, Megumi has managed to reclaim his so, DNF. Yeah, so one... Let's... And let's see if Dajin will it's outperform Dajin. that. It's... Oh, Dajin is also... Dajin is also Aru Malding. Yeah, the difference is, is that um, Dajin is using Serika He's instead using of... using Hifumi and Serika. Yeah. Hmm... <laughs> Dashing paused. Maybe, paused he, maybe, right maybe, maybe, maybe he's what? Maybe he's looking at the score. Maybe he's score. Looking at the current score. I think. Ooh. If One million left. You have to kill here. I think for for Dashing to beat, uh, to be Meg Megumi, he has to get a kill before the I think six pattern. During during the fifth pattern, uh, like with the with the horizontal. During right? the fifth pattern, yeah. Yeah. Fifth pattern. But to so to do like, that, you need like a hundred percent crit. I don't think. <laughs> yeah. I think you need very close to hundred percent crit. Yeah. Okay. He's got two minutes left. He's basically. I think this is the last attempt. I think he might be able to go for one more attempt if he reset early. I think he should be able to get another attempt off. Like because this is actually a brainless uh, comp, so he can as long as he doesn't need to do Fair a enough. lot of pauses. Fair enough. It's uh X X X X. I think. So was it was was Dajin the one to ban? Uh, Toki. I think it was right. Let me double check. Wasn't it Megumi? Was Megumi did Megumi ban Toki or did Dajin ban Toki? Uh, Christmas. Yeah, yeah, no. Megumi ban. Yeah, Megumi ban. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay, yeah. So Megumi ban all the good supports. Yeah, I think this is this is that was a good ban. I think it was really targeted at Dajin. Um, this because uh, <laughs> that that <laughs> Bunny Toki I think would have made the difference here. It easily, Bunny Toki could make up that um this little bit of extra damage that he's missing. Oof. Like with with how much damage Toki actually deals herself, and also with a uh, that crit shred. Yeah, that, that would have helped that Aru damage so much. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure it's not enough to catch up to. Yeah, no way. What is that? Yeah, that is like a... Maybe... That's like a 20 second difference. Yeah, 80... No, it's like 40 seconds difference. It's 80... 40 80, seconds, uh, yeah. Yeah. Because they had, they had basically the same um, phase 2 there. But the phase one difference was the huge one. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> so congrats yeah. to Megumi. With Megumi doing his research and coming up with a really good band, I think, with the Toki and the Shiroko. 
no, sorry, Shiroko was on our side. So with the Toki and the Serena and the Haruna ban, there's a really good dance. Mm hmm Yes. <clears throat> Alright. We've seen in the groups that near Haruna was actually used pretty well in phase yeah. two too. Yeah. Actually a lot of these are for phase two. Yeah. A lot of the bands. Phase two I think is based uh yeah, yeah. I think we want to you want to check the pers other person's like yeah. guarantee like ability to close out the um the game. <clears throat> Has most persistence oh. been slacking on my GA tickets? Honestly, I've also been slacking on my GA tickets. Well <laughs> <laughs> <You know. laughs> So that we don't has... call it slacking, it's... we call it research time. True. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do force pick now. And it's also to hide the strats. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, because if you don't clear all three colors, you won't appear on the leaderboard. So you can actually hide your teams to clear. Okay, I was hoping Mar for that to take over too. Actually, Mari is fine. For well, phase Mary's 2, you can save a feather. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if there's... <laughs> I don't know if they want to do that though, because we haven't been seeing any Akuhimari bans. Like, this tournament. Yeah, but, so... but considering you're forced to bring Mari, it's about mm. the only usage she has here. Mm, mm, Removing mm. the feather. True. Or you can just use her as dead weight in phase one. I don't know. That's that's what a lot of people do. It's it's kind of. Or you know, we were talking about HP sub earlier. True. Is it someone <laughs> going to bring out the Shimiko and know. ban Shizuko? The, the <laughs> thing is though, like Shizuko has better attack stat, so I think most people would choose to just use Shizuko just for extra attack. Yeah, and Shizuko does have the crit sub. Mm -hmm. Oh, Oops, okay. wrong Serena. Oops, nice. I really want to see what Kajusa. Serena's stat is at the end of the... Like, ban, ban, ban rate is at the end of the tournament. Uh, <laughs> I think she's the Yori only because... unit that's been permabanned <laughs> across all colors. Uh, besides you. Yeah, because she's a buffer yeah. on... Actually, yeah. Serena is banned a lot. It's probably in, in light of the torment strats. Mm -hmm. But... Not sure about that actually because in torment she is in a safe spot. Um, but she's also just a good unit. <laughs> yeah, Especially she's in... also just a good unit. Like I did Especially make a Especially in a raid where you actually need to use the special slots, so yeah. striker buffers are valuable. Yeah. And in multi in in multi DPS teams as well. Mm -hmm. You know, so... I would have been interested in seeing a Tomoe for speed. That would, yeah. <laughs> I think that would be very interesting because I'm pretty sure yes. no one has practiced with Tomoe. <laughs> so I'm yes. pretty sure what would happen exactly. is that, um, is that Tomoe like people will just use Tomoe as like dead weight, like they just just let her die. I think that's probably the best way to use her. Because <laughs> I mean, um, if it was on a red, at least that's a free damage for Mutsuki. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Because it because it ruins your reposition is the thing. Um it completely destroys yes. your ability to keep That's it. That's why safe. if it's a Tomoe for speak, it's probably going to phase one. <laughs> Actually, technically you can also use Tomoe to avoid bombs. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. <clears throat> okay, so the bands are actually done now. Yeah. Iori and Mika. Summer Ui. Dajin bans Summer Ui because he doesn't want to see the Megumi magic. <laughs> Megumi <That's> big brain. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's disappointing for least, me because I wanted to see that again. <laughs> yeah, but it makes um, sense for Dajin because he yeah. probably hasn't practiced that. <laughs> and that's a massive advantage. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. Is Tomo even on the wheel? Oh, I know, you're right. Tomo is not even on the wheel. Because she's not, she's not a permanent event yet. So. <laughs> Wait, we didn't we add event nah, nah, ones nah, then? Nah, nah, nah. Oh, okay. I'm, only, I'm only adding the permanent event ones. Oh. So, so Wait, Tomo is permanent though. It's me! Oh, well. <laughs> 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 well, next time I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I missed the update I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. Didn't, 
it got added with Meru and yeah. But anyways, SMH. Thanks to that, we're going to use Tomoe for speak on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the, the Meru ban is kind of fun because um, Meru is actually, like we've seen that after you ban all the big DPS, Iori, Kazusa, Mika, uh, yep. Meru has been a very strong fallback option. So Yep, especially since yellow does have a lot of multi-hits. What we want to see, what I want to see now is Miyu, any Miyu enjoyers in, 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 our, mm -hmm. in our game today. Okay, show me the Miyu. Yesterday there were a few Mews, but today I haven't seen a Mew yet. Yeah. <laughs> Dajin has been watching the stream at least. Because he knows. <laughs> show, us the, show us the Mew, you guys. We love to see it. Ow! Oh. Oh. I keep getting jump scared by that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that makes alarms more effective. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but oh, I should. <clears throat> okay, both players are still in the teams trying to prepare. <laughs> I think I just started. Uh... Megumi is double checking his skills and gear <laughs> to make sure they are leveled. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I was but, actually planning to use Miyu last uh, Wakamo, but mm. I ran out of reports. <laughs> he's, he's really undecided about this. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think Yuzu has a higher okay. ceiling, but I think maybe me deciding that that ceiling isn't worth it when it comes to... When it comes Consistency, to yeah. Uh, Junko is definitely the more consistent unit. On the other hand, Dajin is using Junko in Phase 1. And we're seeing Ayane in Phase 1 as well. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that cancelled the Sayonib NS. So, it's going to be Junko main deep. Yes. So this time, both players are using Yuka instead of... Summer Ayane. Yeah. They know mm. how painful it is for a yellow DPS. Yep. So, we didn't use uh, Yuka in red. Is that because... Akane? Yeah, that is Akane, yes. Okay. So, we're seeing Megumi with the fast rotation uh, fast rotation uh, team. I think the idea here is Meanwhile, to spam Dajin Neru is going as to be much as possible. Heavy right? hitting team. Yeah, between Neru, between Neru, Ayane, Sumire. Though it's unfortunate, uh, it's probably best to put Summer Hoshino with Summer Ayane because mm, true. Uh, TS students generally have very high raw attack. I, w I wonder if so, I wonder if uh, Megumi just forgot about Hoshino. Actually, that's <laughs> possible. Because <laughs> because if you put Hoshino on this team, I think Megumi will actually have a really good team. Uh, yeah. Probably over Akane. Mm. The Junko, Junko on Dajin side managed to get Immortal, which is which is Big. huge. Yeah. Getting that one cost damage. Cause it's kinda hard to get it on phase two, I think. Because you have to you really have to On you know. phase two you either face tank a cart which puts you on a very unsafe location afterwards mm. or you get random AA so it's harder yeah. to proc it. But in phase one, you can just make Junko eat a bomb. Imagine you missed the forfeit and he's going for a restart. What the? <laughs> what the? What, maybe, <laughs> what, was he un, unsatisfied with the score or was, or was it just purely saving the three seconds, <laughs> three seconds from the forfeit? <laughs> <sighs> Actually, you can still save it by like uh, opening the going to home screen. Hmm. It's going to force a pause. But here we can see the um at least from here we can kind of see the uh the time difference here. Uh Dajin finished... Well the difference is Megumi's already using Mari. Mm. Oh you're right. 
So Dajin is forced to marry on team two. Mm-hmm. So no ako he marry on team two. Yep. Right. And I think that's a very big difference. Oof. Maybe we didn't get the kill, but I think that's fine. I think in this case you can still enter the the fight with um. Oof. Didn't make like this, right? Well, yeah. In this case, it's just AA to get some cost. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And maybe that cost is actually a good thing more than anything. <laughs> yeah. You can start with the extra cost to do your rotations early. On the other hand, it means that the self debuff on Kuro will up ar arrive later. Yeah, true, true. It could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing though, depending so, on the rotation. So here, Megumi gets to have Akohimari, so that is a pretty big advantage compared to Dajin, who has to use Murray on phase two. Yep. But so we're Dajin can Mac finish. Dajin can finish a whole minute earlier than Megumi does. Phase yes. In phase one. Well, a match worthy of finals at least, if we're going to see <laughs> interesting stuff. Yeah. Let's, let's look a bit closer at Dajin. Let's see. Because I think, I think Megumi is just a standard uh, phase two stuff. Nothing too fancy. But Dajin here. Wow, that's really fast. So that is much faster than Megumi. This is a 2 minute 30 kill on Chiro. Compared to Megumi, yes. who used more than 4 Two minutes actually. 38-ish. Yeah. 2.35 here. Yeah, that's really fast. 2.35, yeah. So 1 minute advantage coming into phase 2. But it's just a matter of whether uh, we can close out phase 2 now. Well, con well, the phase 2 does have Junko and Maki. So, mm, mm. we'll see. We'll see. Having, Dajin... having a... Uh... Oh, yeah, you're actually yeah. double buffing Maki, not Junko. So this... Yes. Well, he's probably going to switch to double buffing <laughs> Junko, but... That's only Maybe after the done. evil. Oh my god, that, that's, that's hard to beat, I think. So that's four minutes plus uh, 136. That's really fast. So that's a 536 total. Two, so, two. so Dajin needs like a two minute kill. Uh, a two minute Megumi 30 kill. total should be around like five minutes 36 seconds. Yeah, yeah. So Dajin will need like a yeah, two so minute, three minute kill actually, I think he can afford. No, two minutes. Two minutes? Okay. Yeah. Because yes, Dajin has two... Oh yeah, three minutes. Yeah, three mind. minutes. So, so Dajin has three minutes to get this kill. Yeah, it should be comfy mm -hmm. enough. I think I think that's possible. With with just Akko, I think you can do three minutes. Because if it, if it's one minute 30 with Akko and Himari, I'm pretty sure you can't do um, just Akko. Oh, so as I have said earlier, he's mm -hmm. doing the Mari to cleanse the feather. For Sumire and Sumire is now another DPS. <laughs> A decent rotation there. Yep. And we're seeing Ochin buffing Maki. Himari overlaps. No, um, Maki's self buffs do never overlap with a targeted buff, so it's fine. Yeah, Maki is a self buff, while yeah. Himari is a quote unquote team buff. Uh, if if Dajin messes this up, she can't get hit by all four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She can't get hit by she every can... single one. Yep. <laughs> that thing probably needed some practice. I would say a restart is in the cards here. But... Yeah, because. You don't want to practice on the run, especially when it's two minutes remaining. Ooh, but I think he can still beat it in time. He yeah. has if he if he gets his kills this kill within thirty seconds, I think he has Megami beat. There's the paintball log. That should be it. That should be. I'm pretty sure that should be. Yeah, the that should kill. Megami sign. Yep, that made it. <sighs> Roughly 30 seconds above. 3, 5, 2, yes. Yes, a good, exactly 30 seconds better than, uh, as we predicted, 30 seconds better than. Insane. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, so we're now approaching the third oh, match. This is tight. We're playing our 
decided Which round. Games? So whoever wins this next game is going to be the winner of the whole tournament. And mm -hmm. we are going to be going to Blue. This is last one left. The original Shirakuro experience. Yes. And... <clears throat> All right. So, let's do my first pick. This should be the color that both players have the most experience yeah. in. So, we'll see what happens. And <laughs> I'm glad that both players are, sh are showing us some pretty good strats and 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 comps here. And this is and this is going to the third game, not a two zero. That's 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 yes. that's the fun part. Ah, it is head. So Dajin gets first ban, and I'll do the fourth ban. Your well, force pick is... Force pick time... Yo! <laughs> okay! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Man, I'm interested. I want to see what people would do. This is, this is going to be cool. This is going to be fun. <laughs> is this going to be a rehash of the mm, Perona one? This is going where to be we really actually fun. get the good force picks on the finals? <laughs> okay. Ow! Sorry. I forgot to close the timer from before. <laughs> the Dajin gets first ban, and Dajin is banning Izuna. So, Sumsu Izuna. Okay, something I've noticed is that no one has the balls to ban Izuna. <laughs> no one this entire tournament has banned Sumsu Izuna. She just. She just. Oh, you just Izuna. never want to like lose so, her, right? Swimsuit has been banned. No, Swimsuit, it's not, it's not, Swimsuit has been banned. So, original Izuna. No, one's, no one has the balls to ban original Izuna. Like she's just way too important of a unit and convenient. Yeah, like people are just so scared to ban her because without her, then like your your the phase two output is just like not there. <laughs> so she's, she's, Especially she's, when she's these really people have been using Izuna for like the entire Shirokuro yeah. experience. Yeah, and by the way, Macro's four like pixel perfect placements are banned, so these guys are also confident enough in. Clicking their, clicking precisely on the right spot to get the safe spot every time yes. as well. So. <clears throat> Made Aris. So Dajin See, coming Utaha. with Utaha. <laughs> it's funny, we've seen Utaha banned all the time, but we've never actually seen Utaha. <laughs> yes, people <laughs> are preemptively so scared of the Utaha. It's, it's so strange. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not that surprised because she actually hurts a lot. Um, she's actually really damn strong, especially if you have Serena on the team, but she's especially really good. But both of these units are always banned. Same set as this and Wakamo. Yeah. The final ban Wakamo. is... The Dajin coming with the Wakamo ban. And then Megumi has the advantage here, picking the last ban. How are you going to... Sakurako. Oh, Sakurako. So that is... So Azusa and Sakurako are basically, I would say, the better 650 units uh, to have on the safe spot in phase 2. But we still have options like New Year's Junko. Though interestingly, uh, based what on the groups, like? only two people have used Sakurako actually. Oh, true. And it's Papi and Dra. Both who went last place in their uh, <laughs> in the groups, not not yes. to say anything, not to not to not to throw any shade, <laughs> but <you> just <laughs> the, the correlation between Sakurako usage and uh, the, and performance. The players who use them might, might might not might not be an indicator of Sakurako's uh, power, but yeah. But we we probably ban her for a reason, right? Like people probably see that like she does have that kind of potential to yes. do some decent carry work. Hmm. I've got to set the two minutes, but um, yeah, I've got to set the two minutes. I just start the ten minutes when we uh when the game starts. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. We don't need to know that they have two minutes doing formations. It's fine. 
because uh, the the referee is doing it on their side. So my, my my timer is just for display purposes. It's not the actual timer that the referee is using. Oh, I'm just using it for you guys so that you guys can see how much time is left. Yep. <clears throat> so, um, Hasumi is unbanned. Uh, she yep, he is I'm kind of a popular true, true. band, and that's. A good or bad thing? It's probably a good thing, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Because even if you're seeing the Chuchu mouths, she does have one of the best crit rates. Mm. It's just that you're going to be seeing uh, the big difference between the crit and not crit. Hmm. Not true, we're getting Mika off of. Yeah, we, we are going to get Mika in, uh, in mm -hmm. this here. Let me see. Yeah, the Jin has. Yeah, the Jin has been using Mika in phase one a lot. <laughs> Let's see. Well, both are using Mika. Well, uh... twice. He's used Mika in phase one twice yesterday. Okay, so the Jin is now there. And Megumi didn't use Serene Look at that one? formation. That beautiful formation of everyone in a straight line. <laughs> and then spreads out. Oh, uh, Megumi forgot. Megumi realized that they forgot Serene. <laughs> so they're backing out. Who are you going to replace though? Oh, it's the Mika. Fair enough. I I, I think Surugi should probably outcompete Mika uh, if your Surugi is raised. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't know if that's counts as raised though. Oh, Megumi not even using Izuna in phase two. Yo, what kind of nasty strat are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you going full crit mode on on Hasumi? Oh, that's insane. Because he has Hasumi in position three, I think. And he's going Akohimori. It's, it's kind of crazy. Mm. It's probably going to be body blocking because mm -hmm. position 3 Hasumi is actually in danger. On the other hand, hit. This, this team here is really good with Mimori. Um, all of them benefit strongly from attack speed. A, and yeah. does Megumi have swimsuit Mimori? Oh, he doesn't. Okay, If he had swimsuit Mimori, then this would be huge. Uh, yep. I, I really like the team that came out of Megami here because he is fully utilizing the attack speed bonus here. Um, mm -hmm. On the other hand, Dajin decided to use Yuka as their repost, but they have Susu memory. Oof. We will see. So they're. They're roughly doing similar strats at least. Hmm. I think I think Megumi should have the very slight damage advantage here because of how everybody's attack like this attack speed team is actually kinda insane. Uh I use it myself mm -hmm. personally. Uh because it's just so good. Oh, but he went for the restart. But Daji yeah. does have a more comfortable time as well. Let's just see what he's doing. But at one mil I think HP. it's going to depend on mm. how how invested their summer surgi are. Ooh, so Dajin is using Mika on a low HP boss. Um, that's not something you want to do, especially if on a neutral on neutral damage. Yeah, uh, she uses want... way too much of her damage. Uh, yes, that. that's a very unfortunate. So this is another advantage that Megumi actually has because um. Surugi definitely out damages Mika <laughs> under 50%, <laughs> I think. So he went for the restart, didn't like that he took 3 minutes doing, uh, doing Shiro. Megami also going for restarts. Please don't double DNF, guys, don't be so boring. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get so bad. You know what? If we double DNF, we're going for another fucking round. <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> I know, I'm not. I'm not allowing the the the, the tiebreaker to 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 be like that. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna go for another round. 
I'm just going to uh, put down my authority here as a uh, <laughs> as organizer. <laughs> okay. So you can see Dajin's team is doing the social distancing. And if you notice, uh, they are not in a straight line after the social distancing. Mm. They are in a radial direction. Uh, it's because you can students will prefer to be there's a preferred range not just their total range or max range they have a preferred range where they will want to go and they will prefer since they prefer that uh, they will be within that distance Ooh. from the target in this case Shiro which is in the center so it's going to form a Circle. That's a Kotari moment from me though. So, maybe Surugi died really early there. That's kind of not very good because Surugi is a really large chunk of damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, and no crits coming out of Mishiri either. That's super sad. I mean, Michiru's damage isn't that crit reliant, but because a lot of it comes from the burn, but still, it's not something you want to be seeing uh, in this tournament. Oof, Mimuri dies, so he's really relying on this kill right here. Oh, I think, did he buff the wrong person? Oh no, it's fine. Okay, so that is a 3 minute kill on... Mm hmm. Three minute Megumi. kill on Megumi. How that about... single mystery crit there would have made it faster, but unfortunately. Unfortunately. You don't get those crits when you want them. Let's see what that is doing. Oof, that. Oh, I thought it was two bombs. Okay, so again. Yikes. Okay, so he did decide to go for ooh, the, 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 this Mika X1 kill. It was again, Mika does way too little damage on a off color yeah. boss on low HP. But he's gonna need another Mika X, and this is going to he be. He should have much uh, slower. Just not greeted and use the memory there. Yeah. So Dajin is 30 seconds behind on, uh, on yep. Megumi so far. Mainly but, due to the greed on hmm. the final. 30 seconds. The difference here is that um, Dajin has still has Izuno and Megumi is relying on critting. <laughs> so he needs to run around around crits in 3 minutes. Uh, so if... Well, as I mentioned, Hasumi does have decent crit rate, but 3 minutes remaining? Um, oh, you might get it. Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> you might get it. Wait. He needs to create this one. Oh, he might get it. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. Bro. But it's fine, because Asuna, Asuna can finish anyway. It's fine. You just buff, uh, double buff Asuna on his AA. What the? It's not going to make it. So it's gonna be us now. Oh, boss holy crap! <laughs> With the free crits in a row! This guy oh, just no. crit-balled. That's just no way! He actually voted out the hell! Oh no. So that's 27388. Oh, meanwhile oh, Dajin is struggling a little so bit. So Dajin needs to get a 2 minute clear. A two minute kill? I think I don't know if he can do that with Izuna. Wait, no, it's no, it's a one minute clear because Megumi was in an advantage. Yeah, Me Megumi, Megumi had a three minute kill in. Uh... Yeah. So that so Megumi has four minute forty uh, four minutes and forty seconds total. Mhm. Mm and then what did Dajin do? Dajin was a three minute thirty kill on phase one. Yes. Yeah, okay, so, so... I, I'm pretty sure the only way for Dajin <laughs> to win this is to back out and try shoot you himself, <laughs> but I don't think he knows. I think that's it's Choo -choo. actually just it's actually just a crypto here. He, I don't think I think this, this might have sealed the deal. So remember guys, luck is a skill. 
<laughs> Look at the skill indeed. Look at the skill indeed. I mean, you know what they say, right? Um, su success is the intersection between luck and skill. So, <laughs> so let let's see, let's see if he's, uh, he, if Dajin gets anything interesting. Uh, we we'll, we will respectfully wait for Dajin's finish, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is the end of it. <laughs> and that was the first girl, that was the first attempt, right? I don't think making me reset at all. Oh my god. Was it? I believe it was at least one reset because was, when was that we the second attempt? went okay. back to the screen, it was like at 350. Oh, true, 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 yeah. Yeah. There was so at I'm, least I'm one reset there. Pretty sure this is like a minute behind. Uh, let's let's see. I mean, yeah, that is that, like one hundred k. No, one hundred k difference. That is a whole minute behind. Yes, uh, we're gonna be coming out on top with the YouTube crit god. I meant the <laughs> player. <laughs> with two hundred two mil out. Sorry. Guaranteed. <laughs> With the two mil crit damage back to back to back, oh my god! And then luckily he had Asuna to finish the job as well. Like, god damn. damn. That's, uh, <laughs> that 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 is uh, that that was a fun final. I I really like to see yes. that. Making me making me overall performing really strongly for the whole tournament. Um, again, Daijin did actually beat Megumi during groups, going two zero. But looks like Megumi did the research, did some preparation, and and got revenge, right? So congratulations. And got lucky. <laughs> and got lucky. <laughs> and got lucky. Um, yeah, because like, we saw it, he was planning it from the beginning, though. Like that's the thing. Like he was he was planning to do the luck from the beginning. So that that makes a difference, um, since he knew not to use yeah. Izuna in phase two, not to play a safe. He 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 knew he needed to go for that risky play. Yes. And so he used Izuna phase one to to get phase one out of the way, and we shoot you mold phase two. Oh, what a, what a, what a play! <laughs> Making me making a comment here saying I'm glad I didn't mess up the crit. Uh, I, I, I don't know if you can choose to mess up crits. <laughs> I don't know if that's something that can happen. Oh. Hey, Megumi, do a one pull for us. Show, show us your show us your. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the other client. <laughs> uh, Look at this okay, half just, just kidding though. <laughs> that is also a lot of gems. Uh, your Haruna banner. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> you can try pressing the arrow to the left. Uh, he, he, he try pressing it, he the it. arrow on the sides. No, nah, he got it, he got it. Under one pool? Nah, it's okay. Anyway. Ten pull. <laughs> Uh, I think that concludes the tournament. Uh, congratulations to Megumi getting first place, uh, Dajin getting second place. I will be in contact with both of you about your prizes. Um, and then uh, that will be it from me, I think. So, do you have any words, Middle, about any closing thoughts about how the tournament? Oh my god, Megumi's doing it. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay, nothing special. Oh, <laughs> let's okay. watch this, I guess. <laughs> An interview. Do we? Do we want? Do, does Megu want to talk? Do you want to talk, Megu, or you? Or nah, you good? One pull. I mean, if if he declines, then yeah. we'll respect that. But if not, yeah, he says he says he doesn't want it. He's good. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we'll we will respect that Dajin? decision. Does Dashi want to talk? <laughs> Does that you want to talk or not? Nah, it's, nah, mm -hmm. that, never mind. <laughs> Dajun is typing. Uh, Pros don't yap. <laughs> you're, you're so right. <laughs> oh, you're so right. Pros don't yap. So, yeah, both of them faking each other for the games. We're just done here. Oh, okay. uh, show, closing the screen with some waifus. So, any closing thoughts, Mido? Anything you want to say? Well, what I can say is just get lucky, guys. <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> yeah, well, luck, luck is a skill, right? Yeah, sure. Yes. Well, 
<laughs> Thank you, Megumi, for showing us the, the true the true colors of a gacha game. Uh, this is this is what we're all here for to to, yes. to roll that and dopamine hit. You've actually foreshadowed it, Kasu, with your what? introduction like? earlier. What did I say? I actually completely forgot. You wanted to see a fo- a match that embodies gacha gaming. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> True, I did say that. Oh no, Tomo, Tomo wants to have a word. Oh yes, so um, uh, yeah, th- I-, I was going to get to that. So, um, I won't be doing the next tournament. So I think Kaiten will be coming up, and just doing this one tournament was kind of really hard. <laughs> so I mean, mm-hmm. um, I yeah, I won't be, uh, so I won't be doing the next tournament, but. I think Tomogumodo, the guy who did the Pero tournament, will be. And I think mm-hmm. I am going to invite him on to speak right now. So just give me one moment. Uh, I'm actually very in interested here. in joining as a participant in the Kaiten tournament. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Tomo should have the right to speak now. Just let me see if I can pull him up on, on the screen. Hello. Hello. There we go. Hello. Hello. Oh, okay. Um, yes. Before everything, let me just introduce myself to the stream. Um, my name is Tomo, and uh, yeah, I've been working with Koshu uh, with regards to the previous tournament, and it was successful. And this one, the Shiroko, um a tournament, I was lurking the entire time. And uh, <laughs> hey, you guys had fun. It was a very successful uh, event. I am proud of you guys. And uh, shout out to Koshu for ha- hosting this one because uh, I was a- able to uh, do it myself. But anyways, I uh, also to Mido for compiling all of the data. It's re- really good to have like this all of these data come to life and uh, actually accessible to to everyone. Because I cannot do that uh, in the previous tournament. So. Uh, Really appreciate the efforts from you yeah. guys. So um we do want to kind of move this into like a bit more of a community thing. So we are we are going to I am happy to share the tools with you, like things we've built. And yeah, I I, I just don't want to be running the tournament like two times in a row. <laughs> but resources, resources and stuff, we're totally, I I think we're totally happy to share since after all I did I did steal a bunch from of stuff from you as well. Uh so I think it's fine it's fine if we do a bit of give and take here. It's not really stealing if it were But uh, someone on chat was uh, questioning what's going to be the next one. It's co- of course going to be Kaiten. And I am formally announcing that we will be doing Kaiten together with Goshu. And Yay, I'm, uh, I don't know if Mido is going uh, to be a, a commentator or a participant. Uh, I'm actually undecided yet. Uh, it's going to depend if I have the time to participate as a participant. If I don't have the time to participate, I can at least do a commentator role. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, also, I would want to make this uh, tur- tournament even bigger. So I'll try to contact with the other content creators that you like and I'll uh, have them more on board as a commentator. Uh, <laughs> of course, I'm not trying to make everything chaotic, just uh, unlike uh, like last time. <laughs> so I'm just going, let's just try to balance things out, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Maybe I'll pair Koshu with someone that is chaotic and someone like uh, very analytical to like someone who is chaotic, just to uh, have a dynamic uh, duo in a, in a sense. Mm. I'll do it chaotic. No way, sir. No way. <laughs> Let's try to make this official. Um, I don't know if next one's going to. I don't know. Nah. The very <laughs> I, I, I'm okay with the community stuff. I don't know <laughs> anything about like my attempts in no. communicating with uh with Nexon, So that's kind of whatever. I'm yeah, okay. With, just... I'm okay with community stuff. It's it's whatever. I don't... <laughs> yeah, it's community stuff. So if Nexon, hey, we are pretty much welcome. If they want to um, collaborate with us or uh, with the community, hey, I'm pretty pretty much open for that. Especially yeah. with the prices, though. If they can fund the prices, that would be great. <laughs> if it's next on prices, they can just send it to your mail. Yeah, they that's how they do the community events in the Discord server. Yep. Yeah. But 
but anyways, I, I won't take uh, any much of your time. Uh, cost you, Mido. Thank you for um, handling this event. It's uh, really a nice thing that uh, something that I started was continued by uh, someone that I, you know, I look up to. Really. So yeah. Um. Thanks so much, guys, and uh, see you guys on the Grand Assault uh, tournament, Kaiten. Yeah. Bye. Thanks for talking, Tomo. Bye. Thanks. All right. And I am also going to end the stream since I think we've been here long enough. We've been talking about, you know, the. I don't want to keep making me and Dajin here in this call forever. So <laughs> they, they've, been, they've been patiently waiting. I mean, they, they could have left ages ago. I don't know why they're still here, but thank you everybody for coming. Thank you, Mido, for joining me on commenting. I think you really mm -hmm. did help for fill in a lot of gaps. It was pretty fun. It's it was actually pretty my fun. first time commentating on something. Yeah, yeah, you did pretty well. Anyway, um, and thank you everybody in chat for coming along, watching the all the luck unfold in front of us. It was definitely <laughs> very fun to experience together. This anyway, is a very fruitful one. We've discovered a lot of new strats. Yes, yes, that's great. Well, that's plus anyway, one for the community. Finally, uh, goodbye everyone. Atsukale. Okay, goodbye. Atsukare Yep.